Barcelona studio, oh, in the studio of Phoenix in Barcelona. Um, how did I get into the game industry? It was a bit by accident. Uh, I was working at the university, I always wanted to make video games, and then I saw an advertisement to come and make video games for a little company in Vancouver, and uh, well, the rest is history. So I'm the studio technical director for the Phoenix Studio in Barcelona, and uh, what my primary objective is is to provide a technical vision for the developers and to align them to that vision and then to help them grow. Uh, to work as a game developer, it's pretty amazing. So you, your end product is played by hopefully millions of people. So it's nice to get on the subway or on the metro and see someone playing your game or going over to your friend's house and you know, saying, oh, have you seen the blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, I made that. Uh, feels pretty cool. Um, I think also the really cool thing about being a video games developer is that you get to do something new every day. Different problems, different challenges, you keep working on the latest technology. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be doing other things. So the difference between AAA console making and uh, games for mobile, well one is a, is a question of team size. So when you're working in a AAA title, now it's 150, 200 people. Uh, as developing the game, not, not involved in the marketing or the distribution or so. Uh, whereas mobile, the team size is probably somewhere around 20, maybe 30 people. Um, a team of 100 people in mobile is probably super rare. Um, however, the problems are kind of the same. So where mobile is now is where PlayStation 2 was uh, 15 years ago. Uh, and the kinds of challenges that we're solving for mobile are kind of the same as we were solving back then, uh, especially in the graphics, the rendering, the, the things like that. You know, 3D is starting to come up in, in mobile games fairly regularly now, and really that transition from 2D to 3D is kind of what happened, and things happened to PlayStation 2 when we started going to PlayStation 2 and the AAA world. Um, my thoughts on the gaming industry in general, uh, it seems like mobile is definitely taking over. Uh, the AAA console is like the Hollywood blockbuster movies and uh, you know, back in 20 years ago it was fairly easy to make a video game. Uh, it was fairly easy to buy a couple dev kits and make a PlayStation 1 game with a bunch of friends. Uh, that, those days in the AAA world are gone, you can't really you know, buy a PS4 dev kit and with a couple friends make a blockbuster game. Uh, but you can kind of do that in the mobile. I mean, it's, it's going the same way again, where it's up to big studios. Um, but say five years ago, it was very possible for, for a small team to make a game on mobile and, and make it a hit. So I think, I mean, really the, the big winner is the users and the consumers. Because the more games that are out there, the higher the quality will be and the more choice there is for the consumer. PlayStation 1, there was maybe 200 games that came out at the beginning, and, and it was really for the hardcore gamer, it wasn't for the average person, whereas now the average person can play games. I, I would say the, the market is opening, yeah. It's, you don't have to be a hardcore gamer to, have, to be able to enjoy games. Having said that, for the hardcore gamers, there's, there's far fewer games uh, available. So, whereas before you would have Tons of adventure games, tons of RPGs, and super deep and super. Uh, now the the trend is to make things a little more simpler and a little easier. Uh, there's a lot of games with like dad mode enabled, especially the sports games where you know you can pretty much play it by hitting one button and still compete with your son or have a good time, right? Um, so in that way, for the the hardcore pure gamer, their value is going down. So the advice I would give to young people trying to get in, uh, there's, there's a couple things. Uh, so the first, the most important thing is if you're trying to get into the industry, that uh, you need to have a demo. Uh, you need to have a little game that you've created on yourself or by yourself or with a little team and you can talk about it, you can uh, tell us things that you would do differently, that you would do better, whereas the things to improve basically have passion around this game and that should be a part of your CV. If you don't have that, 
the, the pile of CVs that come into to offices, you don't have a demo, you're not really serious about it and you get passed on. Uh, we really only, well, it depends on how many CVs we have, but we will always pay more attention to those CVs with a demo than without a demo. So I would say that's the first step into, into a company. Um, the second thing that I would say is the most important thing is be ready to do whatever you can do. That is, if you know, if you need to upgrade some library, go upgrade the library. If you see a problem, go fix the problem. Don't sit and complain about how crappy it is. Do something about it and fix it. Okay? And sometimes you need to collaborate with, uh, with some friends or with some employees or some coworkers to fix a bigger problem. Sometimes you need to talk to a producer or to your boss and say, hey, this is a problem, here's how I'm gonna fix it. Uh, whenever people come to us saying, hey, this is a real problem, here's our plan to solve it, those things happen. When people just come with a problem, those things usually don't get resolved because we want people that have initiative to, to go and make things better, not just complain.